Okay, good morning. So, um, we will talk about verbal analogy and vocabulary building today. Now, methodology that I am going to adapt for this particular section, especially for the next uh, few classes and also today's class is that uh, you will be shown this slide and uh, you will be given a keyword and then five choices. You will be given five choices and you have to start looking up dictionaries on your own. So, uh, looking up the word meaning and looking up your dictionaries on your own and choose the exact meaning. At the same time, um, you also look at the possible meanings of all the words that are given as choices. So, that will help you in developing your vocabulary for um, uh, any subsequent kind of a test uh, that uh, you may end up taking or end up appearing for. So, this would be a good way to practice your vocabulary. Now, um, let us first look at this slide and the first word that I am giving you is abacus. Choose the correct meaning that is the title of the exercise. Your first word is abacus, you are given five choices casserole, blackboard, slide rule, longer spear and adding device. Second word, acquiescence, choices are advice, advocacy, compliance, friendliness, opposition. Keep marking the words, the meanings of the words as you know and even if you are not too sure, then uh, do not hesitate to look up the dictionary. This is a practice exam, we are not actually testing you for anything, you are not going to get graded for this exercise. So, uh, make mistakes if you have to, but uh, learn for life. So, keep looking up the meanings of each and every word that I am showing you here and mark the word which is closest to the meaning to the keyword. Third word adroit meaning hostile, serene, pompous, skillful, allergic. Ambulatory, what does it mean? Should is does it mean able to walk, confined to be, injured, quarantined or suffering from disease? Ameliorate, favor, to improve, interfere, learn, straddle. Antithesis, contrast, conclusion, resemblance, examination, dislike. Look at the word again antithesis, you, you, here you have prefix anti. Look at the possible meanings here and see if it what could be the closest in meaning. It has a negative connotation. Always look at these kinds of things. If you are not too sure of the exact meaning, see what you are, see look at the word look at the break down the word in possible sections, suffixes and prefixes and see whether it has a, a negative or a positive connotation. It may help you even if you do not know the exact meaning. Astute meaning is shrewd, futile, potent, provocative, ruthless. Attrition, annihilation, encirclement, counter attack, appeasement, wearing down, augment, curtail, change, restore, conceal, increase, banal, commonplace, flippant, pathetic, new, unexpected, coalesces, associate, combine, contact, conspire, cover. Remember today I am going, I am giving you the meanings. In the second section, we are going to discuss each and every word. So, please be prepared with the meanings of every word that you are going to, that you are seeing here on the slides. Corpulent, dead, fat, full, organized, similar. Decant, bisect, speak wildly, bequeath, pour off, abuse verbally. Deplore, condone, forget, forgive, deny, regret. Dissonance, disapproval, disaster, discord, disparity, dissimilarity. Amulement, capital, compensation, liabilities, loss, output, 
which one is the exact meaning. Enigma, ambition, foreigner, instrument, officer, riddle. Ethnology, causation, moral, soci social psychology, study of races, word analysis. Expunge, clarify, copy, delete, investigate, underline. Flotsam, dark sand, fleet, life preserver, shoreline, wreckage. Fulminating, throbbing, pointed, wave like, thundering, bubbling. Glib, cheerful, delightful, dull, fluent, gloomy. Next, incipient, beginning, dangerous, hasty, secret, widespread. Indubitable, doubtful, fraudulent, honorable, safe, undeniable. Inexorable, unfavorable, permanent, crude, relentless, incomplete. Inveterate, evil, habitual, inconsiderate, reformed, unintentional. Lesion, injury, contortion, suffering, convulsion, aggravation. Litigation, publication, argument, endeavor, lawsuit, ceremony. Malediction, curse, mispronunciation, grammatical error, tactless remark, epitaph. Nefarious, clever, necessary, negligent, short sighted, wicked. Obsequious, courteous, fawning, respectful, overbearing, inexperienced. Petulant, lazy, loving, patient, peevish, wary. Phlegmatic, tolerant, careless, sensitive, stolid, sick. Proclivity, backwardness, edict, rainfall, slope, tendency. Pulchritude, beauty, character, generosity, intelligence, wickedness. Pusillanimous, cowardly, extraordinary, ailing, evil intention, excitable, redundant. Necessary, plentiful, sufficient, diminishing, superfluous. Abrogation, repeal, short extension, investigation, promulgation, four choices here. Abstemious, for example, with the cup filled with champagne, Bucky hair is posted for you. So, you know, you look at the sentence and what are the meanings possible, hesitant, temperate, superstitious, careful. Next word, apathy. People have shown remarkable apathy regarding the professional politicians. There are several reasons for this lack of interest. Apathy means indifference, suffering, patience, curiosity. Aficionado, meaning an old timer, a second guesser, a Mexican, an ardent fo follower of a sport. Ecumenical, spiritual, worldwide, unselfish, whole minded. Now, uh, there is a word like clandestine. He said the organization published a clandestine newspaper. The meaning da daily, handwritten, secret, or published at nights. Mendicancy. Look at the word, possible meanings, bartering, the habit of begging, self-improvement, repairing, destruction. Ephemeral, these are the words that appear very frequently in all these competitive kinds of exams. Flimsy, shoddy, short-lived, everlasting. Ambiguous, clear, doubtful, large, complicated. Amenable, religious, responsive, kind-hearted, cruel. Amity, linen, strife, friendship, enmity. Augury, foretelling, increase, boring tool or sickness. Austerity, style, poverty, calmness, severity. Castigation, projectile, driving force, punishment, insulting. Condone, surround, pardon, bring together, rule together. Contention, Deep satisfaction, self-restraint, competitive struggle, convincing reason. 
next decry, denounce, catch sight of, weep, spy on, deflecation, desertion, embezzlement, emigration, branching off, demure to be coy, grumble, object to remove, denizen, agent, police, underworld, inhabitant, enclave, district enclo enclosed within alien territory, fortified area, conquered territory, free city. Paradox, moral lesson, self-contradictory but true statement, climax, convincing result. Pyromanic, escaped convict, mental defective, drug addict, persistent incendiary. So, um, looking at the uh, answers now, so abacus was the first word I had given to you and your choices were casserole, blackboard, slide rule, um, adding device and also longer spear. So, what have you done? See, the correct answer is uh, the fifth one, adding device. Casserole is uh, something else, you know, it is like a pot. So, definitely abacus has got nothing to do with that. Blackboard you are aware of. Uh, uh, slide rule is given to confuse you because abacus has all those beads and all the, it, abacus you know it is like a bead, it is like a board which has uh, uh, devices uh, which has counting beads on it. So, it is like an adding device. That is the correct answer. Now, second word was acquiescence. Acquiescence is not advice, that is one of your, it is a compliance or accepting without any protest. So, that is the meaning of acquiescence. So, she acquiesced to somebody's demand. So, advocate is to promote, advice is not really acquiescence, acquiescence means to comply or to accept without questioning. Okay, and the other choices were friendliness and opposition, which are not really the exact meaning. They do not come close. The closest meaning is compliance. Next word was adroit. Now, adroit you were given choices like hostile. Hostile is enmity. Serene was the next choice, which means uh, calm and quiet. Pompous is arrogance. Adroit means skillful. So, fourth word is the correct word, skillful. So, you do, you do embroidery very adroitly, the women were doing or men were doing the embroidery very adroitly. So, fifth word was, fifth choice was allergic which is not really what we are looking at. Next word was ambulatory. Now, ambulatory, uh, look at ambulance, a word like ambulance being able to move from one place to another. So, ambulatory means able to walk, okay, to be able to walk. So, that is the first answer. It is not confined anywhere or be injured. Quarantined could be, you know, because ambulance and quarantine, they look, they do sound similar. Um, uh, quarantine means to be kept in isolation, especially when uh, um, you are affected by some kind of an infection. In, during uh, uh, the old Elizabethan period, people would uh, put up a branch or a twig on their homes on the outside of the homes if there was any kind of infection. So, it was like please do not visit us and we would not visit you. So, self confinement, yeah. So, that is uh, quarantine. So, ambulatory is to be able to move to walk. Ameliorate was the next word. Ameliorate means to improve. It does not mean giving a favor or interfere, but it Im to Im improve something. It has ameliorated much since I last saw it. So, improvement. Antithesis is contrast. The next word, it does not mean conclusion. Conclusion could be, uh, um, it has got nothing to do with antithesis. Yeah. A thesis can have a conclusion, but a, a thesis, uh, antithesis is not an opposite of thesis. It is a contrast to something. You provide an antithesis to something which is already established. Resemblance is opposite of antithesis examination, dislike, they are nowhere close to the exact meaning. Um, astute, now astute means exact meaning is shrewd, futile means useless, potent means powerful, provocative is something that can lead to some kind of discussion or argument, ruthless is cruel. So, astute is shrewd, I admire your astute observation on my work, shrewd observation, clever observation. So, that is what we mean by astute. Attrition 
is another word. So, uh, it means wear something down, not putting something on, but wear something down. It is the process of wearing down someone through constant pressure. So, uh, political parties wear down the opposition by attrition, putting lot of pressure. Annihilation is the other choice, which means destroy. Encirclement is something that you, you are uh, sort of uh, putting a circle, you know, you, you are uh, surrounding something or someone. Counter attack is something else, but it is, it comes very close to the exact meaning of attrition, but attrition means wearing down someone, putting so much of pressure. Appeasement is complete opposite of attrition. Next word was augment, and augment means to increase. You augment your argument through evidence. Other words choices were curtail, curtail is to cut short, change, restore, conceal is to hide. So, augment is to increase. Next word is banal. Now, banal exact meaning is commonplace, hackneyed, boring, those are the synonyms. Flip on that is the next choice is non-serious. Hmm? So, it is not banal, although it looks quite close to banal, but banal is something which is very commonplace, banal argument, banal banality of this writing, so commonplace that it has nothing distinguishing about it, distinctive about it. Pathetic, new, unexpected, these are uh, not the exact accurate meanings. Coalesce, coalesce means to combine, come together to form a mass or a whole, unite. So, various you have seen the movie the terminator 2, so all those mercury particles they coalesce come together to form uh, the other uh, 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 super villain who is, is uh, the antagonist there. So, they coalesce they come together, coalesce does not mean associate or contact or conspire, okay. it always means to combine to unite come and make a mass or a whole. Corpulent is fat, you say, you know Dr. Johnson was a corpulent man, fat man, okay. you know you have a word like corpus, corpus is body, not corpse, but corpus, so corpus it comes from that so, fat, it does not mean dead or similar. Next word was decant, decant means to pour off, to decant some coffee in the mug, you pour some coffee in the mug, you pour uh, milk in the uh, glass, so that is decant, act of decant. It does not mean to bequeath, bequeath means you leave something to someone. Okay. So, um, I bequeath all my uh, books to my students, so um, he will uh, or she will inherit my books. Decant does not mean to speak wildly or abuse verbally. Deplore means to uh, condemn someone. So, it is a deplorable act, it is an act worthy of condemnation. Condone means to forgive okay. and then deny is not the meaning at all, deplore is condemn. Dissonance was the next word, dissonance means discordance, lack of harmony. It does not mean disapproval or disaster or disparity, dissonance is always lack of harmony, especially in, in sound and there was lot of dissonance among people, among the committee members, lack of harmony. Amulement means compensation or salary, although capital is quite cap similar to it, but compensation is the exact word. Liability is loss, output, no, amulement always means to compensate someone for their efforts. Next word was enigma, enigma means a riddle, mysterious, yeah. so enigmatic smile of Mona Lisa. It is an enigma to me how you manage to function in these dissonant circumstances, okay, when there is so much of dissonance among your members. So, enigma does not mean uh, ambition or foreigner or instrument, it means riddle, puzzle, mystery. Ethnology is study of races, it does not mean so, so social psychology or morals or analysis, it means um, study of races. 
etymology is word, study of races, origin of words. So, word and do not get confused between the two. Expunge means to delete, to obliterate, to remove. So, I, uh, the, it was so offensive the passage or the paragraph that I had to expunge it from my essay. People found it offensive. It does not mean to clarify or to copy or to investigate, it means to delete, to obliterate, to remove. Flotsam is wreckage of a ship, you know titanic and it is flotsam. It does not mean fleet or life preserver or shoreline. Flotsam always remember uh, is a, a popular word, a favorite word with many competitive examiners and they all they often give you this word. Flotsam of uh, generally related with wreckage of ship technically, but you can also they can also be uh, it can also be used in some in wreckage of something else flotsam um, in wreckage of life perhaps if you stretch the word. So, remember flotsam technically means wreckage. Fulminating is thundering vehement protest it does not mean throbbing throbbing means it is a sort of a pain you know you have a throbbing pain in your head throbbing headache. Pointed means astute, a shrewd observation, wave like no, fulminating is always thundering. So, the preacher was thundering, fulminating against the sinners, it is not bubbling, bubbling is something chirpy, cheerful. So, the uh, her act was Marilyn Monroe was always bubbling with enthusiasm on screen, bubbling act it has got nothing to do with thundering. Glib means fluent, okay, we also say you know he is a very glib talker, a smooth talker, he can charm, he can persuade people that is the, so it is not cheerful, cheerful is bubbling, it is not delightful, it is not dull, it is not gloomy, it is fluent. Incipient is beginning, incipient stages, my essay is in its incipient stages, my book is in its in incipient stages. So, beginning starting, it is not dangerous, hasty or widespread. Um, indubitable means undeniable, unquestionable and indubitable evidence has been found that this person is guilty. It is not fraudulent, fraudulent is someone who is practicing, who is uh, fraud activity, so fraudulent. Honorable, no, doubtful, uh, but then you are talking about which is absolutely not doubtful. So, it is an it is a total antithesis. Inexorable is relentless, impossible to stop. Okay, so, inexorable efforts that this person has put to get in the, in the course to top the JE exam. So, a relentless effort, something he was it, that was impossible to stop inexorable is not unfavorable or crude or incomplete, it is relentless. Inveterate is habitual, he is an inveterate uh, shopper, habitual shopper, inveterate gambler, habitual gambler. Inveterate is not evil or inconsiderate or reformed, it is habitual. Inveterate speaker or interrupter, he is always interrupting other people. Lesion is injury, sometimes we get marks on our body because of injuries, so we had lesions. Hmm? So, that is yeah, it is not contortion or convulsion, convulsion is sudden and violent movements of body, it is not aggravation, aggravation is to increase something okay, or pain or injury, lesion is plain injury. Litigation is a lawsuit. Okay, people in the West are litigation happy people, they file lawsuits very easily against anyone, they get offended easily and they file cases against people. Litigation has got nothing to do with publication or argument, though it looks quite similar to, but it has it is not exact meaning of litigation is lawsuit. Malediction, the next word, it means a curse. Okay. Uh, it is uh, not mispronunciation, it is not uh, uh, grammatical error, 
though there is a word called malapropism, using the wrong word at the wrong time. But malediction is a curse, muttering a malediction. Epitaph is written in memory of a dead person. The great actor recently passed away and the epitaph will be uh, written for him as he was one of the actors who put Indian cinema on the world map. So, that is you are saying, uh, you are praising the person's contribution and writing something in memory of a dead person, that is epitaph. Nefarious is wicked and evil, truly wicked and evil, your nefarious activities, the thieves doing nefarious activities in the middle of the night, wicked, it is not clever or negligent or short sighted. Obsequious means fawning, obedient to a servile ex extent, so obedient that always uh, agreeing to acquiescing to whatever is given or uh, they go a step forward then even acquiescence, they are not just accepting without murmur or protest, but actually fawning, you say right or wrong things to do, because they want to please you so much. It has got nothing to, it with, to do with courtesy or being respectful or overbearing is exact opposite of fawning and it has got nothing to do with being inexperienced. So, fawning is obedient to a firm, to a servile degree. Petulant is peevish in a childish and bad tempered way, that is the next word. Petulant is not lazy or loving or patient or weary, peevish is the best word that explains petulant, it is childishly bad tempered and phlegmatic is stolid, unemotional, the phlegmatic British character. They appear to many people as unemotional, very, very restrained, phlegmatic, they do not show excess of emotions. Phlegmatic is not tolerant or careless or sensitive or sick. Proclivity is a tendency, he has a procl proclivity towards lying, proclivity towards stealing, but it can also be proclivity towards hard work, it is it just means a tendency, negative or positive tendency, it is not backward or edict or slope. Pulchritude is an interesting word, it is again a favorite word of competitive exams, it means beauty. Outward pulchritude does not really uh, give you a glimpse of inner beauty. So, pulchr surface pulchritude, pulchritude of your spirit is something that shines in your eyes, beauty. It does not mean character or intelligence or wickedness, it is pure beauty. Pusillanimous is cowardly, pusillanimous act, it is nothing to do with extraordinary evil or e evil intention or excitable, it is plain cowardly. Redundant is something that is superfluous, you have already said that once, it is already there, it is you no need to repeat it, it is superfluous to repeat it, so redundant, ne it is not necessary, it is not plentiful, it is not sufficient it is superfluous, redundant means superfluous. Now, um, I had also given you a word like abrogation, which means repeal, you, you repeal or abolish a law. So, you say abrogation of a law. You can approach the meaning of this word uh, through the prefix a b, a b has the negative idea that is away from, always remember that and abrogation r o g a, you will find in interrogative and many other words uh, meaning uh, asking or proposing. So, remember to abrogate is to abolish, to do away with, abrogation is therefore an annulment, cancellation, revocation, repeal, all these are synonyms. In the context the word termination help reveal the, you know it can help you reveal the meaning. Abstemious is indulging, but in modest quantities temperate quantities, so you indulge, but modestly, not overindulge, abstemious. It has got nothing to do with abstaining, abstaining means to stay away completely, but it is not that. Apathy is indifference, remember again the affix a, uh, so you know that abstemious means staying away from heavy eating or strong drinking 
and apathy also. Yeah? So, remember that abstemious is oddity among words being one of the three words in English with five vowels in their alphabetical orders. Other two words are arsenious and facetious. Apathy again it has a prefix a from the Greek uh, context it means no. So, it is a negative word and path is the root of pathos a strong feeling or suffering. So, apathy is no feeling one way or another lack of interest. Yeah? So, remember it is against feeling opposite of an, uh, apathy is sympathy. Apathy is also quite like um, not quite like uh, sorry, but it can be distinguished from antipathy. Antipathy means against and opposite of antipathy is sympathy. Apathy is no, no feeling. Next word was aficionado. Now, aficionado exactly means a connoisseur, but you were not given the choice. Connoisseur means an expert in something. You were given four choices an old timer, a second guesser, a Mexican and an ardent follower of a sport and the closest uh, choice here is an ardent follower of a sport. Remember aficionado to begin with started it is a Spanish word and it uh, came uh, into being in context with sports. It is a borrowing from the Spanish language it tells us that the Spaniards have had their crazy fans, rabbit fans especially among the followers of bullfighting. So, it is related to sports. Aficionado means an amateur or lover of a sport. It is derived from the same Latin word which gives us affection. Next word was ecumenical, exact meaning is spiritual. Root of this word is found in economy which originally meant the management of the home or domestic economy from the Greek word oikos o i k o s which is a dwelling or house ecumenical world is the inhabited world wherever people have homes ecumenical therefore means worldwide and liberal as opposed to parochial in its sense of local and provincial which is restricted to a parish next word was clandestine clandestine means secret so you were given choices daily handwritten published at nights the exact meaning is secret, the work was done clandestinely, secretly. So, uh, it would be perfect if clandestine were related to the English word clam as used in the expression as secretive as a clam. It comes from the Latin word clandestine comes from the clan, Latin word clam meaning secretly. It is related to the Latin verb celere. Okay, to hide C E L A R E from where we get the word conceal. So, clandestine comes from the same root. It has the sinister meaning of keeping something secret illegally or by trickery. Ephemeral is short lived. So, it is not flimsy, it is not short, uh, shoddy, it is not everlasting. Actually, everlasting is the opposite of ephemeral. Ephemeral is transitionary, short lived. Mendicancy is the habit of begging. Mendicant came to our home and uh, my mother gave him something. So, mendicus is a Latin word meaning a poor man or a beggar. The word gave its name to the group of mendicant friars or religious brothers who took the vow of poverty, practiced collective ownership of property and lived by begging alms and charity. Ambiguous is doubtful. I have very ambiguous feelings towards this issue. Okay, I am not clear whether I am pro or against. Amenable means kind hearted. Exact meaning is open to suggestion, pliant, docile. Amity is friendship. Okay. So, amity is not a strife, enmity is the opposite of amity. Amity means exact meaning is friendship. Augury is to foretell, foretelling it does not augur well with me, a sign that something may happen in the future. So, this is augury. Austerity is poverty. Here it is simple uh, poverty. 
otherwise you know you to live or lead a, an austere life is to lead a very simple life castigation is insulting or harsh remark okay he was castigated it's not punishment castigated or rebuked so someone said a very harsh word to him condon is to forgive pardon so the exact meaning is pardon contention is deep satisfaction to be content with what you have so deep feeling of deep satisfaction decry is to denounce something publicly so denounce publicly to condemn publicly so that is decry and defalcation is embezzlement of funds it is not emigration or desertion defalcation is embezzlement demure is to be coy the uh, lady demured she is generally it is used in context of ladies or women or female we are but it can also be uh, someone uh, hesitated so demured uh, on his uh, decision but generally it means coy to be coy denizen is inhabitant denizens of this building you say citizens of this nation denizens of this campus people who are inhabiting this place enclave enclave the exact meaning is district enclosed within alien territory it doesn't mean necessarily fortified area you should know the word clavis which is a latin word for key k e y and enclave is a territory locked within a foreign country or territory a conclave is a meeting held in a closed room so enclave and conclave for conclave or clavier uh, 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 the predecessor of the piano is a keyboard instrument the clavicle is the scientific name for the collarbone perhaps because it resembles a little key a skeleton key okay autoclave is a greek and latin mixture it comes to us through french the word autoclave was co coined from auto and clavis now clavis is key and held therefore this means self fastening or self locking next word was paradox paradox is self contradictory but still true okay so it's not a moral le lesson which is a parable it's not a climax it's not convincing result but contradictory but still true remember para means beside beyond or contrary to and doxa is a word that comes from greek that is uh, uh, the greek word doxa so a paradox is a statement the greek word doxa means opinion so paradox is a statement or belief contrary to the accepted belief or an idea contrary to common sense which nevertheless has truth in it as you so frequently in our everyday language paradox means a contradiction so dogma from the same root means accepted or authorit authoritative belief a dogmatic person is self opinionated one who asserts opinions as facts heterodoxy hetero means other different it means a set of beliefs and opinions contrary to established beliefs it is a departure from orthodoxy that is right opinions or beliefs held to be true next word was pyromanic pyromanic is uh, an incendiary so the fourth choice persistent incendiary uh, don't get uh, confused with other choices it means a person who likes to deliberately start fire an arsonist a r s o n i s t so that's another word you should know pyromanic is an arsonist a pyromanic is mad about fires he has an irresistible or uh, irresistible or she has an irresistible impulse to set something on fire p y r fire is a greek word for fire and it's found in this word as it is in fire p y r e okay we also say funeral pile on which the ancients um, or even indians they cremate the dead when there is fire pyre pyro that means it's a word that is related to fire remember pyrotechnics are fireworks and anti pyretic works is against the fire or fever 
in ancient time the highest sphere or heaven was described as a region of fire or light hence we have the word empyrean meaning in the region of fire now it's a poetic word meaning simply the high heaven or the blue wild blue away skies so um, thank you very much and we will continue uh, more vocabulary discussion in our next class